Moshi Moshi my name gamers and welcome back to Wiffling Waves. The previous puzzle's answer has been revealed, but has only led to another one. With a star on the horizon, you follow the mystery advice and search for clues about the black shores. Today, we're going to continue doing the Hong Long story quest. It's gonna be with my girls, what they want. I see. Yes. I can feel the tension in the streams. I'm worried something bad is gonna happen. There you are, Rover! Hmm. Does something happen? Remember to check your terminal signals and wear the Academy's protective suit correctly. Mm, thanks for the warning. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Now, the Academy has noted a concerning rise in tacit field activities. Please use caution when exiting the city. Like the voice slide doesn't look right. Um It was the was that a voicemail message? It's just Baija being Baija. She's a little awkward with showing care, but I think it's cute. Anyway, Rover, quick, tell us what happened. Okay, yeah, I'll tell you. After a brief moment of thinking, you gave a brief walk down the meeting with Jinshi, but didn't mention Jews at disappearance. The frags at us again? Ugh, those jerks! About Jin Yan. Jian the general. Jin C the magistrate. And Jue. The Jinjo Sentinel. Is there any kind of connection between them? Connection? No idea. But I did hear General Jian used to be a military doctor. Hmm. Speaking of that, I think we'll need to start with a bit of Jinjo's past. A storyteller near the theater once told us something like this. Okay. The Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great magistrate of Jinjo, was hanged by a personal juror. I'm kidding. This no, it's not. This <laughs> appointed resonator is rare among all past magistrates. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. I'm loving these cussing, though. To further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the crescent. The Norfall Baron, scarred by countless wars, discarded weapons scattered like bones. Our soldiers had fought to reclaim the land for years to no avail. Overthrax, the dreadful Thrinodian monster, fed on the frequencies of weapons, turning our fallen soldiers into deadly tacit discords. That's what happened? Damn! Rangers Geshu Lin bravely rose to confront the threat. As Twin Moons aligned, General Geshu Lin vowed to vanquish evil, raising his blade against the blood red crescent that foretold destruction. His sword blazed with black flames, laying waste to all who dared stand in his way. Victory seemed certain. Until the retroact rain began to fall. Raindrops fell upwards as in the past. Monsters raged. Loyal souls fell to blood soaked sands. Infernal carnage. Issuing his last command, Geshulin demanded all soldiers stand firm no matter what happened. Sacrificing his body to the black flames for power, Geshulin charged at the Overthrax with all his might. And he was never seen again. After the fall of their leader, the remaining soldiers despaired until the deafening roar of Chin Long struck like lightning. A lone youth bravely stood up to lead a hard won retreat. After the battle, that young man who tamed the wind ascended to fame, becoming the new general of the Midnight Rangers, selected by Sentinel Jur. On the other hand, General Geshu was blamed for the massive losses that occurred under his command, earning him a notorious reputation in Huan Long. That battle struck us hard, but our sentinel rose from its long slumber to select a new magistrate who will guide us into the future. 
Despite the previous disaster, Jinjo was off to a promising start under our sentinel and the new magistrate's guidance. The people held hope for a better tomorrow. Why this show chose Jin Shu to be the mega street? Uh, maybe the Sentinel had its own special ways of picking candidates. Or maybe it is their incomprehensible ways that set these divine beings apart from us. Their thinking tends to be elusive to the average person. Yeah, true. Wouldn't be surprised if Jue decided to make me the magistrate one day. Not gonna lie. Does it ever ask the opinion of a person selected? I understand your concern, Rover. Madam Jinshi was only a teenager, and she was suddenly selected to be the magistrate. It must have been so difficult for her. I remember people were skeptical when she first took office. Despite her achievements, many believed she lacked the necessary experience and authority in the political realm. People only showed their respect to Madam Jinshi because they trusted Jue's judgment. Seriously, Lord Jue knows how to choose him. Our previous magistrates were all top-notch at running the show. And Madam Jinsi, she's already made the city a well-oiled machine in no time. I'd have a mental overclock just trying to keep up with all that paperwork. She was made for this. But what is that saying again? Real gold never loses its shine. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madam Jinsi? Hmm. Hmm, let's see. Uh, Jiu asked me to go find Jiu in the Norfolk Baron at a specific time. The Norfolk Barons? It's been a battlefield since ancient times. Rover, it's dangerous there. The Norfolk Barons is the front line in our defense against the Thronodian. We must be careful about going there. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madam Jinji? There's another overseer of the facial looking in Jingho. They sent two overseers at once. Their scheme must be far more expansive than we thought, though the Fraxidas do seem to know a lot about you. Their ideology and actions are too dangerous, and right now, the odds are in their favor. If we rush into a confrontation, it could lead us into their traps. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madam Jinshi? An old legend called the Black Shore has been watching me. The Black Shores? Doesn't ring a bell. It sounds like the name of a place, but I've never seen it on any map. This hmm. flower. And it's only a photo. And I can't tell where it came from with my ability. Every Black Shore member wears a flower like this. dark about Fraxida's plans, and the Norfolk Barons is too risky. The Black Shores seems to be our only option now, but if we are to look for them with only a photo of this flower, it's going to be difficult. Since it's about flowers, we should go ask Grandma Lin. Yes, Grandma Lin runs a flower shop. I'm sure she can give us some tips. <laughs> You're making me blush a little. Grandma Lin loves listening to storytellers. I think I saw her earlier. Let's go look for her. Yeah, sure. Okay, now we look for a granny. Now act five is started. No, she's all like right here nearby us. Excuse me, ma'am. Xixia, Yang Yang, what brought you here? Hey, Grandma Lin, we're here for some stories today. And here's our new friend. Ta-da! We've got the ultimate badass here. The one who can crush TDs, cook up Echoes, knock Inferno Rider flat, and KO Faley and Beringle with a single punch. The legendary Rover. Hello. <laughs> So you are the famous rover. Oh, youngsters these days are really something. Grandma Lin, since you're the flower expert, I got a favor to ask. Show her the black boom picture. Have you seen flowers like this one before? Hmm, I'm familiar. 
familiar with most of the flowers local to Jinjo, but this one... Oh, it doesn't match anything we have here. I don't think I've seen anything similar. Not even in the plant encyclopedias. Oh, no. If not even a flower expert like you can recognize it, who else could help us? Oh, Chisha, I'm far from an expert. We've got a plant-type resonator here in Jinjo, remember? She knows the plants much better than me. Oh, are you talking about that young lady? I always see her helping out at your store. Yes, she has been a great help. She knows a lot about everything plant-related, and she is such a sweet child. Her smiles always make me happy. She reminds me of the lovely star flowers. I'd call out to her, little star flower, it's dinner time. And she'd always answer with her brightest smile. What a lovely girl. Do you have her number? Oh, my apologies, but I don't remember. Oh, I'm too old to work this fancy stuff. She's probably up in the back mountain doing some field research. I said I wanted a field in the back mountain to plant my flowers, and she offered to help right away. That's where she is now, checking it out. Go in that direction, and soon you'll see a waterfall. Walk right through the waterfall, then you'll reach the back mountain. Thank you so much, Grandma Lynn. Oh, any time, dearie. Don't forget to visit my Penjing shop. I'll have treats ready for you. Okay. So, waterfall behind, and it's... Ooh, it doesn't seem too far away. Nope, let's go that way. And she happens to be way over there, so let's jog our way through. Or just run your way through. That's behind... Ooh, the performance, okay. So, she happens to be right here. Hello! Are you over here? This should be the shortcut to the back mountain. Once we cross the waterfall... Oh, Potting! Potting! We'll oh, I'm missing it. Potting! Protein. I'm missing you! I need protein! I need more meat! What the hell's going on? Are you actually dodging it? Now yeah, let's use this. And boom! What? This bun is invisible! Okay, never mind that. I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Never been this part of the map. Not yet, though. <gasps> Flowers? Flowers seem to be showing us the way. Let's follow it. I could attack that one for meat. Yeah, let's follow this one. Just follow the plants. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at a while. Let's check for some chests around here, too. No chests so far. But material wise, we. Get down, get down. Just later. Now, about you, bunnies. I need the meat. I can't attack you, but not that one. Never mind, I'm just gonna leave you alone. So many materials to collect while I'm exploring this area. Now, flower is there. <gasps> Meat! I didn't think it went away. Get back here, I'm very hungry. A bridge of flowers. <laughs> That's impressive. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, climb, grab the mushrooms, climb, grab that, wall climb. Okay, keep leading us the way. Oh, is there something here? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, aim, and... Oh, excuse me, and... Toss! Oh, nice, we got a chest over here. We got some more just to collect. More of them. Here. You can't hide from hey! me. Woo! Okay, there she is. <gasps> oh, wait! She's a new character! That's one of the three five stars. Is that a Nahida version? I mean, I'm not, I know she's not.
โอ้สุดใจนี่อาจจะตัวบุญ Hello Are you lost Do you need help Are you v u i n a Oops Sorry I should have introduced myself first I know it's a polite thing to do in Huan Long It is It is a delight to make your acquaintance I am Verena My pressure to have the opportunity to meet with you today Hmm It's pleasure <laughs> My apologies I used to live in the new federation Her name starts with Verena but it's V with the language here Hi, Verena. I'm Chisha. This is Yang Yang, and he's Rover. Grandma Lin told us we should come find you. Oh, right. Grandma Lin talked about you. I left those flowers so she knows how to reach me. What seems to be the trouble? If there's anything I can help you with, we're looking for a special flower. Show her the picture. This one. Um, it's an unusual flower indeed. Pure black flowers are rarely found in nature. We can't rule out the possibility that it's been dyed. When looking at the structure, there are a few types of flowers that seem similar. Take iris, for example. Its petals are similarly oval-shaped, but it has double petals. And it's not viola either, since viola has notched petals. Then there is also the cliff recluse, but this flower has a longer stamen and an extra petal. <laughs> Lemongrass is also similar in shape. It's native to the New Federation, and Huan Long people may not be familiar with it. Though it has a similar stamen length, it has a conical inflorescence with a trumpet-shaped corolla. Oh, and I almost forgot the peacock flower. It's a single-petal flower with a similar stamen length, but the peacock flower has a distinct peduncle. While this one doesn't. Wow, you really know your stuff. I learned a lot from that. Anyway, this black flower does look very special. There are hardly any similar plants in nature, so I'm thinking it might be a newly cultivated species. Also, its veins are somehow cross-shaped. I can feel some faint traces of frequency fluctuations on it too. It's a sign of overflowing remnant energy. So my guess is it should be a unique remnant plant created by a certain type of resonance energy. But in order to figure out the right soil for it, or exactly what type of resonance energy it is, I need more than just a picture. Gosh, help us out, someone! We don't know what kind of flower it is, and we haven't seen anyone wearing it either. Speaking of that, how does it even work? If I wore this flower on me right now. Do I automatically become one of them, Chisya? Wait, what did you just say? Uh, yeah, I was just saying if I wore this flower, would they immediately see me as one of their own? If this black flower is indeed their symbol, the Black Shore members should immediately notice it on you. But to everyone else, it would just look like a peculiar flower, given that. If they are indeed in Jinjo City, we may only need to wear this flower to lure them out. Oh, I see. But how do we get our hands on one? Hmm. Like how exactly? I mean, um, I, I, I could probably make one for you with my resonance ability. If you just need something that looks similar, come on, Verena, you can do it. Yeah, concentrate. Amazing, seriously. It looks exactly like the flower in that picture. <laughs> Thank you. It's nothing. I'm glad I could help. It's freaking amazing. Could you do that again, please? I love it. You're looking around. Shall I? <sighs> okay. I don't know what's going on there. Hey. Yang Yang, on the way here. Seriously? Rover, have you noticed? We've been seeing these black petals for a while now. They're scattered all over the place. I'm pretty sure they're not made by Miss Verena. The streams have been disrupted. Someone has been following us. Leave it to me. Rover, are you sure you want us to leave? 
It could be dangerous for you. Trust me. Okay. Trisia and I will wear these black flowers and go look for members of the Black Shores and over. Please be careful. Ring us anytime when you need help. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna follow this around, don't I? Investigate real quick. The Black Pearl Scout on the ground because of the Fate Elmer's area. You seem to have seen it on your own way here. Hmm, yeah, that's what it seems like. Now, someone has been following us. Like, who in the actual for all oh, those guys, I'm guessing? The Fraxidus. What are they doing in a place like this? Damn that woman. Always getting in our way. <sighs> Get it funneled! The weird noises persist. They're coming after me. Yep, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, I got those do okay, those things I unlocked. I mean those um echoes I got. I'll go up and find the bosses. Because they look pretty badass if you ask me. Now we are going up here. Yeah, they're following us, definitely. Now we're gonna go oh, like a mile like a mile away, aren't we? If I climb up to that point, I should be able to get behind that person. It's gonna be fast then. Climb up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's go this way. Do do and press T and then go up. And then press T and then you go this way. And you go to T again. And I press T again. Ah, made it. Now what? Better hide here for now. Just for now. Now, wind distance wise. Ooh, grippers. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Oh, yeah, it is. Don't even touch. Oh, shit! That woman scared me! Nice grippers, by the way. <laughs> now we see her face. Looking for me? So we're fighting. We're gonna fight you now. Oh damn! <laughs> it's like she liked that. <laughs> like getting pinned down like that. She's like a very kinky boy, but you're an enemy. So nah, I'll pass. You're such a box full of surprises. <sighs> Who in the fuck are you? So we're playing truth or dare now. I see. Oops. <laughs> Getting angry, are we? Sorry, but it's just so much fun to rile you up. You're the very first person to pique my interest like this. You have great potential. I saw that question. Okay, so you're not up for small talk. I'll keep that in mind. You're my mission target, after all. Are you from the Black Shores? Bingo! I'm one of the bloom bearers of the Black Shores. This Blake Bloom is our symbol. It represents our mission to save the world. That's save the world? At least. What are you planning to do with me? Our Suck plans. me off? Hmm. What is it again? Oh, to recruit as many talents as we can and save the world from its impending doom. So are you in? Uh, you don't sound like you want to save the world. Nah, -uh, I don't. The world? Couldn't care less. If it's all going boom tomorrow, why not have fun while we can? To stop it, nothing for more power. Take down any prey without mercy, and indulge in all our desires for the ultimate pleasure. Damn, it's like she's. <laughs> I don't know what to say. How do you? Are you doing from the photos then? Well, I mean, I'd love to live that way, but alas, duty calls. The Black Shores, our garden, is home to many green fruits, and we'll make you the most special seed among them all. My duty is to nurture and safeguard seeds like you, allowing them to blossom into luscious fruits. Oh, it's going on me, I see it. Then, 
Once the fruit ripens, I'll get to pick it and indulge the sweetness of my labor all by myself. Hmm. That's none of my business. <laughs> I like how cold you sound. You're tempting me to push your buttons a bit more. Relax, relax. I'll behave for the time being. No need to be so on edge. I won't do anything strange to you. I think. Strange? What do you mean? My arms can close to your boobs, but nah, I'm not touching it. Actually, I've been diligently protecting you, you know. I'm Are you? Of all types of pests that tried to get in your way. Ew. Don't mention me and the Fraxidus in the same sentence. I couldn't care less about their petty games. But if they even think of laying their dirty fingers on you... Huh, you're mine. And I don't like sharing. Just a couple tricks and I had those fools flapping around like headless chickens. What a boring crowd. Hmm, tricks? Whoa. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. Enjoyed your nightly rendezvous with that long maiden. You have me to thank for keeping those Fraxidus people away. Well, I've answered plenty of questions already. Now it's your turn. It's like, why are you holding me down like this? You want to just like kick me, aren't you? Nah, -uh. is, is this how you treat your talent you're trying to recruit? Huh. We've been in the position for long enough now. <laughs> and my leg is touching your pussy. Wait, that's all it looks like. Okay, not gonna lie. Do you think I'd entertain your inquiries if I didn't have a blade on my throat? <sighs> anyway, I'm not trying to get any answers from you, but I'll be watching you. You're a very special seed. That I'm very sure. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Like, oh, you want me to fuck you? Is that it? I can feel nah. something oddly familiar about you. Hmm, I mean, I feel kind of feel that way. Uh oh. And you left. My name is Camellia. Camellia? Try not to let me catch you so easily next time. Oh, that's her name. Gone. Huh. That was fast. Hmm. Who was that? Rover, what took you so long to answer? Did something happen? Hmm. I met a little woman. <laughs> She's from the Black Shores. Black Shores. Did she tell you anything? A shame. I let her get away. Phew. At least you're safe. Shizia noticed a guy acting suspicious. I think she's keeping an eye on him. I'll be there soon. Sure. We are in the shopping district. See you then. Alright. I got pinned down from the way she was holding me down. I mean, the way I was holding her down and the way she's holding me down. And the way she gave me a bone a little bit. She was being kicky. Whee! Don't get hurt! Okay, oh, wow, who is that guy? Alright. Beautiful lady! The hell? Rover, there you are. Did they take the bait? They walk the streets. Wearing the Blake Bloom like you said. Talk to various people, but I didn't hear anything useful. How about Kylex? Shinsia did say she found I mean Cynthia. Look, it's him. Hmm. Is the one that she's talking to right now, I'm guessing? Whoa, perfect timing. This guy's been sniffing around here for a while now. He keeps trying to talk to the elderly and minors. I've been keeping an eye on him. And I saw a little girl with him. She kept turning her head and looking around, but now she's nowhere to be found. This is super fishy. Hey, I'm Patrol Latisha. Sir, Patricia. business license, please. B business license? Uh-oh. I'm Alto. Just a humble information broker. I've been traveling around, helping people out in my own small way. I see. So no license. I bet you don't have a fixed business location either, huh? Business location? Why would I need that? Hmm. Now show me your organizational accreditation, please. Well, 
I'm an honest broker of information. Oh my god, what well, I mean, his hands? Right I think he's our Sampo. That's what it looks like. Intel champ with more bestseller certificates than I can count. No license? No clear business plan? You're running an illegal business. Then um what? Your supervisor. You should at least have their ID number. M my supervisor. Oh. Her. You have none, don't you? She's like a super big deal. I don't think you have any. She's an ancient being. Born with a <laughs> What is going on? She's the will of the star. The reverberation of everything in this world. You are a complete baka. I'm not buying that shit. So do you even have a supervisor or not? Do you? What? Oh, I think so. Come on. I already told you about her. Why won't you believe me? Well, I know evidence. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. I know what's going on. Now, sir, you're coming with me to the patroller station. Oh, come on, please. I didn't do anything illegal. I was just looking for someone. A little girl. Um, about this tall? She's the kind of stand out in any crowd. You really um. think I'm gonna buy that? Oh, you know, you saw her earlier. It's that girl. Uh, she seems to bounce while she walks. Yeah, exactly. Wait, how do you know? I took a guess. Like, do we really saw her? <laughs> oh my god, she is cute! She's cute! Oh yeah, she is! Why am I making that face? Be hey, careful. Are uh, they like besties? Those two? Uh, is she giving me a hug or something? Oh. What are you looking at? Look at you! They're so cute! What the fuck? So, we met two people in one episode. Well, three. I've looked everywhere for you. Oh, that's her name. Leave that girl alone. Miss Patroller? She's the girl I've been looking for. Hello, little one. Is your name Encore? Do you know this person? Yes! Encore knows him! Uncle Alto Encore? I don't know who's Encore. He listens in on people for commercial secrets, and he loves pulling pranks on us kids. But he's not a bad guy, really. Ah, uh, Encore! Remember our little chat? What did I say about calling me uncle in public again? I am not that old. Hmm, you sound really sus to me. Miss Farina? Where did you meet this girl? I ran into her near a cliff on my way home. She was eating a poisonous mushroom. I managed to make her the antidote in time. Imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there. Oh. Don't worry. Uncle's had plenty of that mushroom already. What? <laughs> Being cutesy and... But why did you go to such a dangerous place alone, little Uncle? I don't know! We got your back, little one. No worries. Just tell us what you know. Because... Because Encore must keep an eye on him. What? <laughs> uh, kids can have such wild imagination sometimes. I'm actually older than this guy! Even though I'm small! Hey, Alto! Didn't you just send Encore there? Wait, why are they all giving you the side eye? <laughs> Where this game knows about the jokes. <laughs> they know how we are. Encore. Some things are better left unspoken, you know. Since the situation has come to this, I've got no choice but to tell you. Indeed, we're here for business. No. It's a crucial one. No. You want to know what it is? No! Oh, who's that? Let's go, Encore! Hey! Alto! Wait for me! 
See ya. We still have a world to save. Oh, he dared to blind us. Wait. He blind us. Like, <laughs> motherfucker. We can't let him get away. Motherfucker. So go search in the residential area. Like, motherfucker. What was that about? Is he right here? No, it can't be. He just disappeared. The misfigure of Alto it pulls in a weird way and is the angle spreading his wings. Did he leave it to mock you or you're quite you're not sure? In front of misfigure, there was flowing lines in her body, and she also made out of fog. We felt in good and called above all else. New customers enjoy twenty percent off. Uh, what is this? Is he mocking us? I'll go down that way towards the patrol station. I know the streets here like the back of my hand. Oh another one. I see it. Damn, what is this boy do- why? What the fuck? The misfigure of Alto. I posed in a weird way as if he was stretching his arms wide for a welcome hug. Did he leave you to mock you? You're not quite sure. In front of the misfigure, there was a flowing line of her one. That was made out of fog. Fate burst together. May our friendship endorse forever. Another split in the road. I'll hmm. go look for him in the square. I'll leave the other side to you. Yeah. Alright. Another one? Alto again. The misfigure of Alto, it puts it in a weird way, and as if he's making it hard with his pants. Did he leave it in the You're not quite sure. In front of the misfigure, there was a flowing line of handwriting, also made out of fog. Patient, please, the answers were above the corner. Around the corner? The gaps between each misfigure are shrinking. Over there, at the end of that alley. Hey! You asshole! Hey, yeah, hey, hey. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just kick his head from behind, like, uh-huh. Huh. Now you're here. The main character. You have no other one, bitch. Well, we weren't really running from you. We just wanted to make sure you were alone. What? Be good, please. Okay. Uncle and Uncle Alto won't do anything bad to you. My god, she's like energetic. I like that. Just so space to help! That's enough, Encore. You're freaking our precious clients out. Client? Encore just did as Alto said. Encore is usually a good girl. Don't be scared, Rover. We just have a few questions for you. Was it your idea to have those two ladies wear those counterfeit Blake Blooms and attract our attention? I must admit, they looked quite convincing. If I was an outsider, I might mistake them for the real deal. So, you worked with a plant-type resonator. Interesting. A plant type resonator. We happen to know someone like that too, don't we? Yeah. There are more than one of them out there. Not a big deal. So please, tell us. What do you want from the Black Shores? Hmm. My past may relate to the Black Shores. Oh, really? So that lead about you is right indeed. Like what they say here in Huang Long. The straight hook is for willing fish to bite. Da, 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 da. Your efforts finally caught our attention. Surprise! The people you've been looking for are right in front of you. These guys? Now, really? How's that for a piece of intel? I'll let you have it. Free of charge. You're both from the Black Shores? <laughs> oh, not that disappointed look. Are we not what you had in mind? I know you must have a ton of questions for me, but one moment, please. As you already know, I'm an information broker. That means I make deals instead of passing out freebies. Always rub your hands, boo! You gotta give me something in return. <laughs> like what? Relax, Rover. We just want to make a deal with you. We want you to come with us to an abandoned Court of Savante facility to help us recover a resonance beacon. Okay. In turn, I'll tell you everything we know so far. Hmm. And why the hell should I trust your ass? Our business is centered around customer satisfaction and built on integrity. Otherwise, we wouldn't qualify as consultants of the Black Shores. And since you're a first-time customer, I'm pleased to offer you an additional gift. Oh, what now? You put in my Here, oh. Have this. This should prove you're serious, since you already know what it represents. And if you still have doubts about us, just show it to that plant savvy young miss. She'll be able to tell, finally, as a last resort. Encore! Do your cute face! 
quick. What? Uh, d d what a dirty move. Um, please help us. What? <laughs> um this poor child pleading to you like that. Really? Why would you use that? The deal settled then. Yeah, update to hell. We'll be waiting for you near this beacon in Whining Ix's mire. And don't forget to come alone. Okay? I can't be my girls? Aww. Damn it. I can't be my girls. I had to go alone. Look, are you full wheel? Okay. Rover, did you find them? Yes, they'll find the black choice. What? Seriously? No way. They gave me this black bloom. As I expected, Blake. This flower is indeed a type of remnant plant, and it contains a very unique kind of remnant energy. The concentration is much higher than usual, too. No way. Are they really from the black shores? <laughs> Not as mysterious as people make them out to be. Well, at least they're good at running. I'll give them that. What did they tell you? I made a deal with them. You explain the current situation. Like, okay. Speak. That place. I only heard it's an abandoned research institution. There is nothing special about it. Because of the dangerous weather conditions and whining Ix's mire, it's an ages since anyone went there. Don't worry, Yang Yang. We all know how strong our rover is. Okay, rover? I'll tell the academy about this, and they'll help transmit your data from the Resonance Nexus. Then, that beacon in the whining Ix's mire should be unlocked for you. There have been frequent tacit field activities recently. If you're going there alone, please be careful. Just ring us whenever you need a hand. We'll come rushing. Oh, I'll give you guys a hug while I leave. <laughs> I'm going alone. It's just my pail. Oh, that's time. Okay, I've been off camera. It's actually kind of scary to go there. Okay, I'm here. Watching this wig is be quick, just flying. Oh my goodness. I was waiting that, excuse me. And an and ankle is drinking a lot. What you two drinking? What you two drinking? They're both drinking the wing from above. Are you guys disgusting? Oh, look who I see. Oh, well, you looking at me? Nah, back off. And he's like, uh huh. Boom. <gasps> hey, suck this in. Oh, wait, I see something I need. <gasps> Puff officials, bye bye. I'm gonna fight all of you. Get up, all of you. Get fight up. Die. That's one down. Oh, down dead. Summon monkey. Die. Yeah, I cook you up. Now we do our job. All right, Alto and and Koi, they speak to you too. Hey, Rover. I've sent the coordinates of that CSC research facility to your terminal. Now that we're in the same boat. Let me fill you in on what we're getting into before we dive in. Okay. Sabante is a mysterious scientific research organization. They're best known for their research in automata mechanics. But what really put them on the map isn't that. It's all the bizarre experiments they did. What's with the psychedelic black light coming from Morning Ix's mire? And is that freaky ring in the waters really the lake monster's doing? One day. A daring young scientist soared into the sky and never returned. Could this be the beginning of another diabolical plot? Alto, why are you telling bedtime stories now? Is it time to sleep already? And then what happened? I want more! Um, my bad. Old habits die hard. But the big part is coming right up. One day, out of the blue. Every single Corte Savante member vanished. The last words from that mysterious researcher, the Corte Savante Committee's chairman, was this. Ahem. You want my research? You can have it! I left everything I gathered in the Corte Savante's labs. Now, you'll just have to find it. What do you think, Rover? Aren't you curious? Enough of this, let's go. <laughs> be into this like I am. But stories aside, we do have an important mission on our hands. I suppose the Magistrate of Jinjo has already told you what we do? We've set up resonance beacons worldwide to monitor the lament, collecting data in real time. This is how we predict when the next lament is happening. As the saying goes, 
One miss is as good as a mile. Every single one of those resonance beacons is crucial. After the Corda Savante researchers disappeared, all of our resonance beacons near their facilities were damaged to varying degrees. Recently, something went wrong with our lament detection system, and we suspected it had something to do with a damaged beacon around the area. That's why we've been sent here, to investigate the case. While our main goal is to retrieve the lost resonance beacons, we also might find some treasures. Alto, even Encore can tell what you're up to. It's called Seize the Opportunity While I Can. <laughs> you're just too young to get it. Come on, let's go. Hmm, she might know what's going on actually. So we're supposed to go. Oh, why the hell? <gasps> piggies! I mean, not piggies. Hogs! Boys, I mean. I'm missing up a little bit. Come here, you hogs! I'm going to suck all of you in with the monkey! Hey! Oh, all of you become my protein. Yay! Miss. Going to attack them all. I'm too strong for you. Inferno! And the motorcycle. Yeah, that's right. These white. Ah. Oh. Thing about these, not all of them get sucked in. By the way, it's only percentages for this wise. I'll suck it in and boom. Yeah, I like that. Didn't always pop out right away. I just suck them in to the next location wise. <gasps> Puppet fish. Get over here. Hey! No more sleepy time. If you're frozen up, you will freeze. Oh, four people freeze. I'm gonna freeze for all of you. Take this. Take this. Did like three times. Okay. Keep swinging. Okay, switch. All yeah, fist this one. The who? Swing at that one. Attack that one. Oh, you've been frozen up for a while. Hey, 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 you, hey, you. Yeah! Just one slice. Well, I'll smack your body. Give me. Now I'm gonna go up there. A go puff. Can I ask what a puff fish said? Huh, so we're over here now. Uh, is my. TV detector working? How come it didn't warn us of so many tacit discords ahead? Yeah, that could be it. Monkey! Yeah! Damn, so powerful. I mean, that voice dies. Hey! Shit! All those incos I have, they're like voice stars in the meantime. Felt so powerful until I get a five star later on. I thought it'd be like level 30 to get them, I believe? Okay... Now that we'll... Heal... This is the place! Ugh... Those savants really love their puzzles... <laughs> no wonder folks never managed to get inside after all these years... Their security's top notch... That's because Alto set off the security alarm, and now the gate's closed. <laughs> anyway, we've got to figure out how to open it up again. Yeah, I think we got it. I believe so. Hold up. This? Ah, uh, sorry, teleport is possible. Okay. <laughs> now, enter the Kodos facility. Now, puzzle time. Let's read this one. Use the spinal device to collect pathways and complete the information transmission. Unlock this one. Hmm. Um. Okay. Middle. Is it like this? E. Oh, okay. Got it. I got it. I figured it out. You're welcome. This is... Ugh. No wonder. <laughs> Those crazy savants. They were trying to recreate the Retroact Reign. Why? What's the picture here you're trying to show us? Never thought they could pull off something like this. Incredible. 
What on earth is this Wakanae Dwayne? The retroact rain is essentially a form of condensed remnant energy from the etheric sea. Various events across space and time from every dimension are recorded in the form of remnant energy. The retroact rain conjures illusions of past events for those exposed to it. That rain curtain we saw earlier was probably the result of their experiments. Before the retroact rain forms, it goes through three stages. In the first stage, it looks just like any regular rain. And what we're seeing now should be the second stage. Water droplets floating in midair, being absolutely still. I've heard of plenty independent studies on the retroact rain. Most of the researchers were driven by their obsessions, while some wanted to relive a particular experience, and others yearned to reunite with their loved ones. But <laughs> look at all these devices here. The sheer scale of this research is really something. It really makes one wonder. What on earth were they trying to bring back with such a massive retroact rain? Hmm. The power system here might still work. Let's split up and find it. Hooray! Hmm. Willie's run away! Looks like he found something already. It's like a domain. Oh. It's treasure hunting time. Okay. Connect this. And my guess this goes. Probably that one. That is my guess. Legend of Zelda symbols? Okay. And. Oh, wait a minute. There's two green ones here. Hold on. Let me actually suck this out. Because you don't need that one. Duh! What am I doing? Uh, die! Think you can catch up? Look at that one. Opened. Oh, okay. I wasn't supposed to be here. Not yet. Let's go with with, with Ankoi. Wants me to go first. Find out on electricity, which is what I'm doing. Hmm. Okay. Let's start with this one. Looks farther ahead. Listen to the conversation. The experiments have been going smoothly, but we still can't get the desired outcome. Why? The artificial retroactive rain project has advanced to its second phase. We have various evidence that this ancient civilization was the whining Aix's Maya at some point. We believed we could recreate that divine miracle with the artificial retroact rain. Have we been mistaken? We have no time left. The artificial controllable tacit field should be complete by now. We'll have to rely on our backup plan. Hmm, I mean... Okay, second clue? That Fraxidus Overseer has been really generous with his sponsorship. It would have taken us much longer to build this place without him. Though he loves to meddle with our experiments a bit too much. Well, he's our patron. Can't do anything about that. This lad's location is a bit too remote for me. But I'm okay with it as long as we can keep doing our research. Yeah. Where else could us maniacs possibly go? The committee kicked us out like trash. They'll never understand. As Professor Heisen stated, we are embarking on a monumental endeavor with the power to redefine humanity's future. This time, we will make the divine miracle we saw happen again for all of humanity to behold. Okay. Now, I did open another one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. That was like... That one's still red. So this leads to another clue, like that one. Are you part of the clue? No, you're not part of the clue. Uh, but... Chest! Oh, man. Can we, what can we do then? This is just right there. Oh, wait. I have an idea. This might be quick I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna grab one of these if you don't mind me. I'm gonna... I'm trying to grab this one. If you don't mind me, and call it, what are you doing? I'm gonna use this because there's a chest I want to collect as a... Okay, I just have to put this down. Can I put this down? Stay right there. Think you can catch up? Yeah. Up here. <laughs> you can't hide from me. Okay, so um, so this one. Okay, we do need another one. What can I use probably one of those, if that's possible. Maybe that's possible. We don't know. Let's place. 
Oh, it's wet. Can't do that. No mind that. Um, the thing is, this looks so electrocuted. You can't do anything with that. So, now that that's done, what to do now? Okay, this person over there, so I'm going to take this off. Get off of here. And then, this place. One button. No! Get back in! Back in the hall! Open. There might be something here we need then. Anything? Hmm. Empty spots, mostly. I mean, there's this right here. Um, I'm not gonna bother with all that. Because I don't know if it'll count as anything we need. Probably not. But you. How's subject A038 doing lately? It has yet to assume a concrete form or exhibit vocalization behavior. In most cases, it remains motionless. However, we noticed some behavioral discrepancies from our initial expectations, and further observation and research would be necessary. It's merely a replica, after all. It's far from the true form of those gods. By the way, things have been mysteriously disappearing lately. Any idea? You notice it too. Thought he was imagining things. And there's weird noises at the lab late at night. I suspect it is something to do with subject A038. Lately, its frequencies have always displayed signs of hunger. But it's been under strict surveillance. That couldn't possibly be 8038, right? I'll go check the security cameras once more. Let's increase its rations. We can't afford to let it go hungry. After all, it's our last hope now. Hmm, do we know that? Oh, wow, well, you see this? <gasps> oh! Ooh, that just give me an idea. Ah! So, oh my god. That was by accident. D no, don't go down. Go up. Stay up. And then, we're gonna switch these. You now become wet. Need to be wet for that one spot. Oh, okay, you almost fell down. Connect. Now, the one that's kind of green, I'm gonna buy one of these. Because we don't need this one. No, we don't. We don't need this. We need this. Switch. Think you can catch up? Okay. Yeah. This is the last and it's enemy seals. Ah! Yeah! Now, monkey! Smash them! Summon your ice bug! Hiya! Ah, Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, slice you down. Oh, you don't attack us. I could attack too, not just that. You going down. Uh, device on the wall. Now, this looks like it has to go left. That's what it looks like. Now, this needs to go upwards. This needs to go up. Now, switch with this one. Complete. Now these are simple. It's getting closer. These will be my final words. <laughs> if only I had more. I thought my enemies were misconceptions, waning passion, and my own ignorance. Only in the end did I realize time is my ultimate foe. Okay. I became blindsided by my fear of death and insatiable thirst for truth. Eventually, derailing our research. It was too late when I finally came back to my senses. We... We had already walked into that false gate. Now, I'm leaving my last realization behind. They are our past. But they are also our future. Had I realized it sooner, there might have been a chance to get things back on track. The future being hailing from our past. Please save us once again. Please keep pushing forward until you reach the real gate that can change the world. Who's... Oh, wait. <gasps> I know that face for the beginning. He's like, I know you. Wow! She's so pretty! 
Rover, about this person. I think I know her. <laughs> Knew it. Great. Now that power's been restored, the elevator should work. Okay. The beacon signal is coming from below. Let's go. Okay, so she appealed. That was a surprise. No. The elevator's from downstairs, from down here. Oh, what? There's people down here? What? Oh my god, what's going on here? Wait, I see a boss. I see a boss fight symbol. Oh, is this really still another boss fight? That's what it looks like. Oh my god, what is that? What the fuck is that? You see that? Oh my god, that looks so freaky. Damn, those savants never run out of new surprises for us. The signal's coming from it. Did it swallow our resonance beacon? It's awoken. Guys, brace yourself. We'll need to take it down. Alto, we doing it like we usually do? Of course. Attack! <laughs> Then this big guy is Encore's to tackle. Cosmos, Cloudy, attack! Let me figure out its weakness. Ooh! Out wait, out wait a minute! A fourth one? It could have four players then! Instead, I had to put like three players to play. Oh, look how it moves like a. It's like that Toy Story 1 character. Ooh, that reminds me of. Ah! No, 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 no! You're shocking me! Shock me harder! Didn't work! Summon! So hey, wait a minute, that's my that's my funnel. You better get down. E. Um, you're actually dying? Oh, you lost your arms? What you doing? You weak down. Okay, let's be on my other teammates, not just that. I saw my funnel! Monkey! No, use your alt. I gotta go down. In a fell sweep. Yeah, you. I'm in. I'm next to you. You burning down. Freeze! E. Stab it more than once. On guy. At this point. Alt. Oh no, scary! <laughs> Damn, she may be innocent but evil. You're dead. You're dead. White in the penis. That's right. So that's what the boss is. Uh cute, innocent, and deadly. That's what I call it. But why did they keep that big guy here? According to our findings earlier, researchers who worked here were probably only a small faction. Of the Corda Savante Committee. They were likely studying an ancient civilization they deemed to be divine beings. But later got denounced from the CSC due to their extreme methods. Somehow, they believed this ancient civilization had once visited the mire, which led to their attempts at recreating those past events with artificial retroact rain. And when they failed to recreate the retroact rain, they resorted to making a replica of the lost civilization instead. To get their desired results faster, they started feeding this replica various frequencies, data sets, and mechanical constructs. <laughs> and we've seen what that ended up with. It turned into a monster, driven by the frequencies of hunger, devouring everything in its path. It was probably the culprit behind the disappearance of those folks. And I suspect... The Fraxidus Overseer mentioned in that log may have something to do with it all. Those researchers, they were too obsessed with validating the divine miracle they experienced. They eventually got lured into the monster's frequencies of hunger and willingly walked into its maw. The monster devoured them, but not with its teeth. 
Their own delusions and fear were their undoing in the end. <laughs> what a crazy bunch. So, Rover, now it's time for me to fulfill my promise. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? Top to bottom, let's go. What the fuck does the Black Shore do? As you already know, we monitor and research the lament. And we've got residence beacons set up in every nation worldwide. The island our headquarters are built on is in fact a massive piece of tacitite ore, which powers our various energy intensive operations. This Blake Bloom is a product of that overflowing energy on the island. Our island is located in the perfect spot to accurately monitor the lament, ensuring precise predictions. That being said, the lament's behavior is constantly changing and we are still studying to understand its true nature. All we could do for now is observe the lament, study its patterns, and provide early warnings to countries worldwide. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? Have you been stalking me? All right, all right. No more beating around the bush. Yeah, we've had our eyes on you. But please, trust me, we don't mean anything bad. We just wanted to make sure you're a dependable ally. The Black Shores members all work together to save the world from the Lament Crisis. We've got talents from all walks of life, including skilled hackers, explosive experts, and even feng shui masters. You name it, we have it. We like your skills and- They should fix the dialogue. So what do you it didn't say? show the wording. Ready to jump on board? What do you want to know about the Black Shores? Do you know the person named Camellia? Camellia? Of course we do! Yeah, she can be kind of unhinged, but she's indeed one of ours. Just so you know, she only took up this mission because of you. Quite the charmer, aren't you? She almost killed me! I know, she can be a bit too straightforward in how she expresses herself, but don't worry. She won't do anything bad to you. Really? What do you want to know about the Black Shores? Why are you doing Shing so? We just received a warning from our Lament Detection System. Another Thronodian is about to revive near Jinjo City. So, we came here to inform Jinjo's Magistrate about it. Does this, this, this similar thing happen in the past? Yes. Entire countries have been destroyed. We're not letting such tragedies happen again. What do you want to know about the Black Shores? What is the relationship between me and the Black Shores? I'm just an insignificant consultant at the Black Shores, so I don't know that much about all its hidden secrets. But I believe the piece of intel I'm about to share with you will make this trip worth your effort. This is not the first time you've been reawakened. Last time, you woke up at the Black Shores. Rover, we share the same goal. We're both aiming to fight against the Thronodians and prevent the Lament Crisis. Yep! Onkar can prove it. The Thrinodian is a bad, bad guy. And Onkar and Alto are the heroes of justice. So we're gonna stop the bad guys. I understand. Trust isn't something you could afford to give out that easily. Remember the Blake Bloom I gave you earlier? It's more than just a symbol. It also holds the key to our headquarters. I'm sure it'll come in handy for you. Phew. Anyway, mission accomplished. We've got the Resonance Beacon secured, plus a sweet bonus of Corda Savante's big secrets. Glad I got you on board, Rover. Looking forward to our future collaboration. Oops, almost forgot. Gotta check the Resonance Beacon again, just in case. Wait, this is... No, it can't be. Ah, what's the one? wait! My god, he just shows us away again. So, are we just gonna... Uh, meet with the. Might as well go back up. Oh, look at that way, boy! Oh, thanks for the angle, game. <laughs> they know where I'm looking. Going up. Hey, why are you up here, boy? Something on? Uh, coming to the launch floor in the design area will interrupt the equipment floor. You can still connect to spins in the last HG points. Um. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop with there then. That's the case. Oh, wait, I'm gonna there. Like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Sayonara.